What are you going to make me? A Negroni. Mm. Would you like one? So Stanley Tucci made a Negroni and the internet lost its mind. Let's check it out. So, a Negroni. But we're going to make a Negroni up. I love up drinks as much as the next guy, but drinks with high sugar content, and yes, the Negroni qualifies, are unpleasant once they warm up and should always be served on the rocks. Unless drinking out of a coupe makes you feel fancy, in which case, proceed. So, a fair amount of ice in a shaker, and use your hands, because it's the most hygienic way. The Tooch is absolutely correct here. Always touch the ice with your hands. I'm serious. What you want is a double shot of gin. If you don't like gin, you can use vodka. There's no such thing as a Negroni with vodka. If you want vodka, sweet vermouth, and Campari, by all means, drink it, but don't call it a Negroni. Also, building the drink over ice is a no-no. The ingredients will dilute unevenly. A shot of sweet vermouth. I see he's not doing equal parts. I actually have no problem with this. Everybody has their preferred margarita spec. I don't know why some bartenders are so legalistic about Negronis. Good on him for making it the way he likes. Also, being a man of culture, the Tooch must know that vermouth is kept in the fridge, so I'm assuming you pulled the bottle out right before his wife started shooting this video. Next. And use a good sweet vermouth. If, if you can find a good sweet, sweet vermouth, that's great. If you can find a good sweet vermouth? Good vermouth is ubiquitous, dude. Welcome to the party. I don't want to use, like, martini. You know that brand, martini. Mm, it's not good. Martini is not good? I love martini and I do this for a living. In fact, I prefer it over Carpano in most cocktails. Carpano is great stuff, but it has a tendency to walk over anything you mix it with. It's great on the rocks, but in a Negroni, I'll stick with martini, thanks. A single shot of Campari. Campari, correct, sir. Shake it up. Never shake a Negroni. If you think I'm being a snob, try it both ways. You'll see that I'm right. I put it in a coupe, like that. You can put it in a martini glass. Any glass with a martini in it is a martini glass. Let that sink in. You just held up two cocktail glasses. You wanna garnish it with a slice of orange. You wanna put a little bit of the juice in. I would never garnish a Negroni like this, but this is one of those areas where, in my opinion, people may differ. If you want your Negroni with an orange slice and a bit of juice squeezed in, be my guest. You want it, Felicity? That will never happen. That's good. Now this part of the recipe he really knocks out of the park. Toy with your spouse before you give them the drink. Make them beg and always try what you made before handing it off to make sure it isn't poison. Okay, real talk, this is how you make a Negroni. Grab your mixing glass out of the freezer. Add equal parts gin, sweet vermouth, and Campari. If you want to use more gin, do it, I won't tell. Stir with the biggest ice you have and strain into a chilled glass over the biggest ice you have. Get yourself an orange peel, express it over the surface of the drink, and garnish. In all seriousness, Mr. Tucci's video didn't go viral because he made the perfect Negroni. It went viral because he's total class. A handsome older man making a tasty drink while wearing an actual shirt tucked into actual pants? For comparison, I made this video in Gryffindor pajamas. And at the end of the day, isn't the only opinion that really matters his wife's? I mean, the drink was for her. He'll probably never see this, but Mr. Tucci, please keep making and explaining cocktails in effortless fashion. You're great to watch, and we could all use a stiff drink right now. I hope you wander into my bar someday so I can take care of your alcoholic needs. Just lay off martini vermouth. It's actually really good shit. If you liked it, hit like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you have a salty opinion about Mr. Tucci's Negroni or this video, leave it in the comments. Stay safe, all the advice professionals, and I'll see you tomorrow.